Okay guys, I'm making a cheeseburger patty pal. And what that is, is there's cheeseburger underneath with uh, french fries on top and then chili beans on top, cheese on top. And then once I get it in the plate, I'm going to top it with uh, these uh, sweet peppers and green onions. And that's a patty pile. Okay, then after the patty pile, you're going to top it with ranch and um, hot sauce. Guys, what you got now? church is out and we're matching. I'll show I'll show you when we get home because we didn't do it this way. Matches, wrinkles and all. See yeah, matches, wrinkles and all. Okay, Daniel had to run into the Dollar Gentral for just a second, so I thought I'd say hi again. Um, okay, Daniel's back. A lady drove up like right beside me, so I quit. I couldn't log in. I guess you think I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, we're on the way home. Okay, I was going to tell you what I'm wearing in makeup. Um, I'm wearing the, I just got there eating, so I've probably wiped it all off my face. I know I have, because it was messy. Um, I'm wearing the uh, Perlice BB cream with the SPF 40 and then um, put that on and then I'm wearing the uh, well face primer first I'm wearing the Foera and then I put on the BB cream the Perlice and then on top of that I put uh, Foera foundation and that's that. It looked a lot better this morning before I've wiped it all off. I had a burger and some tater tots and it was good. It was very good. And I look at this, I'm wiping my whole mouth. Wiped it off, but you know. Can't help that. Oh, and for eyeshadow, I'm wearing the Laura Geller Make It a Double uh, eye stick and one end is the 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 host eye stick color is called Cosmopolitan, Cosmopolitan and I'm wearing the white part of it that is the powder on the lid and up here and then in the middle I'm wearing the pink and of course I'm wearing my favorite eyelashes you know and that's it that's all I'm wearing and baby doll's back the readers he can't see like I can't see. So anyway, I got tons. Here's my outfit. <laughs> I'll show you mine and Daniel's outfit together. He wasn't feeling good this morning before we left, so I didn't ask him to pose. So he's feeling better now. So I'll have him pose here in a minute or as soon as we get home. Um, but I had so many compliments on my pink and green, the pink pants, the green shirt. And there were quite a few. I said, today must be pink and green day. There were some that were wearing pink today. And then there was one, two, count me and Daniel, four. There was two other ladies that was wearing, one had a dark green uh, sweater on that matched this. And there was one lady that had a, she had a dress on, a, a green dress. And then me and Daniel, so that was four of us. And then the piano player, Debbie, was wearing pink, a pink uh, cardigan. So today was just a pink and green day. I don't know. Is it supposed to be a pink and green day? I don't know. So anyway, I'll catch up to y'all when we go. Okay, we're going to do get ready with me. I cannot see what you're seeing because I'm using my camera today. Ah. Anyway, so we're just, we're going to roll with it, okay? And we're going to get the face done, then I'm going to do the hair, then we'll do the earrings, and then, and, and this is going to be a fast get ready with me, okay? Because I'm home, I'm not going anywhere today, so, alright, we're going to do the lashes first, and this is the Ioni uh, Lash Glue Liner. And we're just going to put it along in here. Now, I do have to have my mirror. Sorry. I can't look in the cam... Well, can't look in the camera this time for sure. Because I'm going to have to get me a camera that has a flip top. Y'all know what I mean. Okay, usually I put that on. Oh, man. I'm dropping those. I'm going to put that on. And then while I'm, that's kind of sitting. Don't really have to sit for very long. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on. That's just to get it to stick to the lash. Then I'm going to grab, of course, my favorite lashes. Y'all know. This is the Magify. Mag Magify. 
and a lot of times I'll take the glue and just kind of run it like on the ends especially to make it stick you know a little bit better and then I just stick them and I hope you're seeing me just gonna put it right there where I want it then run it right on around and then I'm gonna push push and make it stick then I'm gonna take my thumb I'm gonna hold the lash and I'm gonna pull with my thumb to put them to put my lashes with st stick to the other lash does that make sense okay I hope it does all right let's get the other one done then we're halfway there does that make sense I've said this before you have to put your lash glue lash liner glue on first before any makeup because once you get the makeup on your eyes like eyeshadows I guess they have oils in them or not I don't know maybe they want to well they just won't stick okay they won't stick to uh, your lashes won't stick to the glue if you do that first it just won't it just won't okay all right then we'll take my other one I'm going to run just a little bit on the ends. I like them ends to get that left eye. I have a lot of trouble. I didn't this last Sunday, but <sighs> normally I have trouble with this eye. And it's simply because this eye wants to water teetotally like crazy. And yeah. And as you can tell, I don't have it on all the way because for some reason on this eye, I usually have to take it. And just kind of set it on there and then push 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 are y'all seeing me okay and then push then I'm gonna hold my lash my top lash with the top finger and then I'm gonna rub the thumb up and then rub that lash into it's what I call marrying my lash to the lash you know what I'm saying do you get it okay then I take this I got this from the uh, kiss you know where they had just the little ones and you put them on a little at a time well I save this simply because I like taking this and sometimes it don't want to work good but most of the time it does and just kind of marry those lashes a little bit more the more you stick your lash your lashes to the fake lashes the less they're going to want to come off or come loose or, you know, because they're stuck there. You know, okay, then I'm going to go in with, let's see, where's my brow pencil? I have a brow pencil that I use a lot. It is the, I think it's, is it Physician's Formula? I can't remember. Um, here we go, brow pencil. It is the LA Colors. And it's not a bad pencil, to tell you the truth. I really need to sharpen it, but, you know. I don't like my lashes thick. I don't like my lashes wide. I want them thin. Thin and narrow. Thin in the hair part, narrow in the other part. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? I just, I just do. It's just, that's just my preference. And then I'm going to do that. And if I really wanted to make them stay all day, which they stay anyway, because there's not much. Um, this is a brow gel tint. I got it in an Ipsy bag. It's clear. Well, I say brow gel tint. It's actually, I think that's the name of the, I think that's the name of the, um, company I don't know there we go I don't know it works for me okay it works for me so yeah so just chill okay and then what I'm gonna do is because I can't let these ditches go I just can't you see that it's it's like sometimes when I'm home sometimes at band camp <laughs> I take my uh, instant age eraser and I will go like right in here with it I'm about out of it I need to go back this one's a little darker than I prefer but I'm I I've already used up the the lighter one I think yeah I've already well 
I have. So this one, this one is in, this is my favorite. This one is in 095 Cool Ivory. And then this one is in Pale, the one I'm using. But we'll just, we'll just do this. Oh, well, there's still a little in it. Look at that. Would you look at that? I want you to look at that. Okay. There we go. That's that's all we're going to do there. And then we're going to take a brush. Um, let's take this one. I don't know what's on it, but we're going to use this one. And then we're just going to kind of go around that. Sometimes I, I just prefer using my fingers. And then we're going to use the um, sponge. The old faithful sponge. I love my sponge. I had a couple of high, I had a highlighter, a blush, and I think a bronzer that I have bought from Timu. And um, I didn't really like them. They were too watery. But I guess I threw them away. Because I cannot find them anywhere. And I'm like, well, where in the world? But I guess in the world I threw them away. They weren't the best, okay? <laughs> they definitely were not the best. Y'all see all that gray hair? I haven't dyed my hair again. Yet. Yet. I I don't, don't you think for one second Marsha's going gray because I may be 61. I'll be 62 in June. But don't think for one second that I'm, I'm giving up, that I'm giving it up and going gray because that ain't going to happen. Not in this lifetime, okay? I tell my husband, if I die and there's gray in my hair, so I'm going to go ahead and dye my hair before you, you know, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to take this setting powder. I get the setting powder from, uh, it's a dupe, and for the heaven's sakes, I can't remember who this one's by. But it's a good dupe for this. I got this out of my Ipsy bag, and I can't remember who it's from. It's pretty. It's it's not expensive, but it, it's it's a higher. So anyway, this is a good dupe. Hey, I dropped you. I'm sorry. Do y'all have a headache now? <laughs> eh, so sorry. Okay, here's the dupe. I mean, this is this. This is my backup. I bought another one. It's in the same case. As the one I just used and I can't get it out so I'm not even gonna worry with it but you can tell it's it's the t I'm so used to my camera being up there okay let's continue on shall we all right now then um, because I'm gonna be home I'm not gonna wear a lot of makeup you see me just put the setting powder on uh, yeah setting powder I'm gonna use this stick this is Timu um, it's called grooming V pen and it has like a bronzer or contour on one end and then the other end it has like a white I'm not sure that's not a highlighter because if it is no it's not a highlighter but I could put that in the corners you know in my of, of, of my lashes of my eyes <laughs> or I could put it up here you know basically I could put it anywhere but today we're going to use the the pen and we're going to go right here and we're going to make a round circle and we're going to go here, and 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 let's see, oh, under here, under here, couple marks there, here, and there, and everywhere, here, and there, and everywhere, hit, sorry, got carried away, <laughs> yeah. I, and then I think I'm going to, let's try this, the old spongy, see what the sponge does. I may want to go back to no I don't this is a not this is a not this is a not a bad pen a, a makeup bronzer contour you can use it for either one I mean I use contour for bronzer and I use bronzer for contour does it matter to me no just as long as it gives me that little sun kiss look on my head on my forehead and a little bit of sun kiss look down on my cheeks you know you know the stuff, the stuff, the stuff that dreams are made of. I will say one thing. I do like it better using a sponge. Okay, that's 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 all I'm gonna say about that. I do. It seems to uh, spread better. I mean, like I said, this is cheap. I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was less than three dollars. I'm pretty sure. 
because you know Timu does have pretty cheap stuff now I don't want to waste my good makeup you know like I know I keep looking like I'm just talking to outer space out there but I'm so used to my camera being up here and not down here I'm just you know it's looking like I'm a little spaced out <laughs> I space out every day <laughs> what am I talking about okay there we go. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? And that, that kind of serves as a, uh, that serves as a, um, well, Marsha spit it out there. As blush as well, if I just wanted it to. And then, that was the other end of the pen. Then I'm going to take this and just kind of uh, run that down. Don't have to worry about my... My lashes already on, so the makeup now, if I want to go on top of the lashes, that's fine. It's not going to hurt it. You just can't put the lash glue on top of makeup. It won't stick. Because I've tried it. Trust me, it won't stick. And then if I wanted to, I could take the same stick and just be cheap about it. And just use it for the eyes too, you know. Just because just, just I could. You know what I'm saying? You can do anything with any kind of makeup. To me, there are no rules that says you have to use this for this and that for that. Tit for tat. You know what I'm saying. You don't have to. Use your makeup however you want to use it. And just get jiggy with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just kidding. Okay, then we'll take some of that and put it under the eye. Just a little. I didn't do anything with under the eye, in case y'all haven't noticed. So, we're just going to do, ow, poke myself in the eye, we'll say that. <laughs> yeah, let's do a little bit more under the eye. I don't think I'm going to do mascara or liner under the eye. I'm going to leave it alone because, again, I'm home, and I kind of just like the simple look. You know, at my age, like I said, I'll be 62 in June of this year, and at my age, you know, at my age right now, in my opinion, less is more. Okay? Less is more. Now, I don't, I don't, that doesn't mean I'm never going back to just putting makeup on it and just going, you know, all out with it. I mean, because we all know that that's not going to happen. I always, you know, I always put on the dog when I'm going to church. You ever hear that? Put on the dog, putting on the dog. My mom used to say that. She was putting on the dog. Whatever that means. <laughs> Are you putting on the dog? I kind of don't like it like this right there. Okay, see, so that was a lie. I said I wasn't going to do under. But we are. It's hot in here, and Daniel took my fan to the bedroom because we are refusing to use the central air just yet. Something tells me it's going to be a hot summer. But we keep saying, well, it's not time yet. It's going to get cold again. It's not time yet, so let's not put the central layer on. So we had last night. Why am I screaming? It's like y'all's right there. <laughs> You're not outside the window or nothing. But um, last night, we always get hot. We just sleep on a sheet and under a sheet. Everything else goes off. Comfort, all, everything. Because we're big people. We get hot. So last night, we had on, we had... The big fan, you know, the big one that, that makes a lot of noise because I have to have noise. And then we had the other fan that stands up that he put it in the corner of the bedroom. And then we had the ceiling fan. And was that enough? Well, heck to the no because we both still got hot. So I'm thinking we're going to have to get up, give up the dog. No, give, the, give up the ghost. Why am I coming up with all these phrases? And um, just turn the central heat on. <laughs> Before we both sweat to death. Okay, to death. We don't want to sweat to death. Okay, and then we're going to do a little bit, a little bit. Of, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury. And this is in, this is in Iconic Nude. I knew that before I ever started looking for it. And it needs to be, it needs to be, um, my pencils. I need to start sharpening them instead of just putting them back looking like this because I don't really like the, the iconic nude Charlotte Tilbury simply because it don't stay on it don't and my LA colors is it LA colors or Maybelline 
you know my favorite i forget what it is <laughs> i should forget i use it every single day okay and then you know what i'm going to use i'm going to use the hard candy and this is in peach dream it, it's just it's a tad bit of color but mainly a gloss okay all right i'm gonna go do my hair and i'll be back in a minute okay okay Okay, then we're going to put some earrings on, and we're going to put the new ones on that I had yesterday because I absolutely love these earrings. They're so stinking cute. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? Look at that. Would you look at that? I want you to look at that. Have you ever seen that video or those videos of that guy? It is stinking hilarious. Would you look at that? I want you to look at that. Would you look at that? Just look at that. Anyway, what do y'all think? I don't think I'm going to do any ear stuff up there. Okay. Not bad, I don't think. What do y'all think? I mean, I, I managed to use this stick. And I will try to leave the link below from Timu. Um, as you noticed, other than... Um, well, I got it from Timu, too. So, I guess I just did a Timu face today. <laughs> yeah. Um, the setting powder. I did it. Well, now the eraser is not from Timu. We all know the erasers are from Walmart. They are the Instant Rewind. Um, who are these by? Um, why does it not have it? Maybelline? I think Maybelline. Instant, instant erasers. See, there we go. Like that. Okay. I did use that, and that is in Timu. But, other than that, do y'all see that real pretty brown glow I get? I love putting, especially in the summertime, because I like looking like um, I've been in the sun, and it just gives me that glow. And I love wearing um, contour or bronzer, either one, mainly bronzer, I, I, I will say. I probably bronzer. In the summertime, I like using a bronzer and just do a light face, like BB cream. Oops. Sorry. Like putting on some BB cream, and of course, y'all know my favorite is the Perlice BB cream, and it's an SPF 40. So I love this. Putting that on in the summer, and then taking a um, bronzer stick, or it don't have to be stick, you can use whatever you want. Um, whatever bronzer you have that you like, even if it's powder. I like this one because it's easy. But anyway, um, just putting that on and giving yourself a little color in the cheeks i mean it's not it's not the perfect and it's not real dark and i don't think it's meant to be dark of course i can make it darker if i wanted to and then put it on your eyes flip the pen and put it up there and you're done <sighs> for summer i mean great summer look without all that makeup on your face because i don't know about y'all but in the summertime i can't stand it it's hot you know you start sweating and you're like <laughs> so yeah there's that okay and then i guess that's it for this part of it i did want to talk to you guys about my new handbag so let me put you on hold a minute and let me go get it I do want to say, if I wanted a little more orange on my lips and not just the gloss, this Buxom in Bahama Mama is, well, y'all know, this is my all-time favorite. I love, love, love my Buxom. I have shouted from the rooftops with this. I have, I have shouted it in the streets. In the streets. Buxom in the streets. Whip it. The hell you whip it? I don't know. I'm old. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this is my favorite. I've told you guys and told you guys and told you guys and told you guys. Um, do you see the color? It gives a little more color than just the clear gloss, but you know. So anyway, go buck some Bahama Mama. And they have another one that's in, uh, this one's Catherine, so it's in Debbie. This one's pink. Um, they have another one, Buxom, that's in uh, Debbie. It's also orange. Not as orange, I don't think, as the Bahama Mama. So, there's that little tidbit in case you're interested. Okay, okay. Okay, let's talk handbags real quick. Um, I can't really give you a review because I haven't really carried it that much. My new bag, the uh, 
Michael Kors Maze or Macy. I don't know what it's called. M-A-I-S-E. Okay. This one. Okay. I want to talk about this bag. And I want to tell you guys. I just want to give you guys. Y'all may not even think about it till after you buy it. And you take it on vacation. And then you're like, I don't know. So let me tell you about this bag. This bag is pretty. Is beautiful. Is I love it. <laughs> Spit it out. It doesn't have a top handle. Okay? No top handle. And that bugs the fire out of me. Now, if you are looking for a vacation bag or y'all's going, y'all's just going to go out of town, you're going to do a lot of walking, you're not going to be in and out, in and out of the car, you know, it's, it's going to be like, you're going to be busy all day walking on your feet. This one's perfect simply because, you know, it goes cross body, um, it's out of the way, you can even, even put it behind you or beside you, but you're not reaching for it, you're just going to wear it. This is perfect, vacation, parks, whatever, you know, if you just need your bag and you're not going to be getting in and out of anywhere. Now then, now then, the best bags to carry. <laughs> If you're going shopping and you're, you're going to be in and out of your car. Like you're getting in the car and you're going to hear it shop. Then you're getting out of the car. Then you're getting in and out. Okay. If you're going to be in and out anywhere and you want to grab your handbag. Okay. The Michael Kors is not for you. Now I am. Let me just say. I am going to look around for a, <coughs> a chain that I can hook to here in here and maybe you know like the uh well they have one like that yeah, that's the one i should have bought it was the newest one they came out with but it's also like the mz wallace you know you can carry the long strap or you can carry it with the chain so i'm gonna look around for a chain for this one or just some kind of matching cute twisted leather or something matching to go on this so i can pick it up but now again as i was saying if you're gonna go shopping and you're you're going to be out and about, okay? You want, and you like bum bags, like I do. I'm obsessed with bum bags and sling bags. I have those sling bags, and I really, did I just spit? <laughs> rude, just rude. If you hear anything, if you hear a rooster, Clarissa. <laughs> if you hear a rooster, it's pin rod outside my window, okay? Let me just tell you something real quick. This is a funny, 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 funny story. Clarissa had me laughing. And y'all go watch her. I'm going to leave her link below. Her uh, channel is uh, Rissa Be Vlogging. Go check her out. Go watch her. Go tell her I sent you. And subscribe to her. She's trying to get her numbers up. But she... <laughs> I had talked to her. She was texting me. She was private texting me. And um, I don't remember what we were talking about. But we were talking back and forth. And um, she was shopping that day. And so she texts me back and she said, oh my Lord, you're not going to believe this. She said, this is funny. She was driving down the road and she was listening to my video. She wasn't driving watching, she was listening. Okay? Kind of like a podcast, something like that. But, you know, she's listening to my video. And she said, she stopped at a light and she heard, she heard a rooster. And she said she's looking around the houses and she was thinking, I wonder what house. Clarissa, is it okay if I tell this story? <laughs> And she said she was looking around thinking, I wonder what house that rooster's at. Anyway, so she said she heard it several times. And then she took off from the red light. And she said, and then she heard it, the rooster again. And she looked in a rearview mirror. She said she was thinking, is that rooster following me? And she said, then I realized it was Penrod on your video. <laughs> Clarissa, you gave me a good giggle over that. I laughed till I cried. I was like... Oh my. But you know, I can't really laugh at her because I have been editing late at night my videos and I'll have my headphones on and everything editing and I'll be in the living room and Daniel, you know, in the living room and I will hear a rooster and I've done this several times and I'll be like, and I'll hear it again and I'll take my headphones off and I'll tell Daniel, did you, did you hear Penrod? Did you just hear him? And Daniel's like, no, he's in bed because you know, Right at dark, they go into their little coop and they go to bed. Okay, they're on time. They're on time frames. And he said, no. And I said, are you sure? And yeah, I mean, Daniel thinks I'm Lulu. So I put my headphones back on it. And just as I put my headphones on, I heard it 
Penrod. And I'm like, I busted out laughing. Daniel's like, it was Penrod, wasn't it? And I said, yes, he's on my video. Every time I do a video, he's on my video. So anyway, it's all good, Clarissa, but that was so funny. You guys go watch her. She has a funny, funny, funny sense of humor. Um, she's sweet. She's kind. She loves purses. And um, she does car vlogs. She does, she does a little bit of everything. So y'all go watch her. Okay. Battery went dead. This one thing I don't like about cameras is your battery goes dead and you have to stop and you have to go and change them out. Whereas the phone, I can put two videos on my phone and it not go crazy on me. Okay, anyway, there's the story. Um, I'm letting my nails breathe, but I am going to put these on after a while. These. Are those not cute? Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, if you're going to be in and out of your car, getting in and out... And, you know, in and out where you're just having to grab your bag, then this would be the way to go. And I'm just giving you a heads up so when you get ready for a vacation or you get a bum bag, you're shopping for a bum bag, and you're like, what should I get? Okay? This one, I love this one. I love this one because you got a top handle. And when it's sitting in my car seat, I can just grab it and go. You know what I'm saying? I, it's, it's just this one, same way. This one I got off the Walmart website. Walmart. Where am I at today? I am not on acid. I have not had a loaded tea. I'm just, gee. Anyway, Walmart website. These are very well made. They're made just like the Louis Vuittons. They're awesome. They're awesome sauce. Anyway, and I love this one. You see, you can grab the handle and go. So, if you're looking and you're shopping for bum bags, Make sure if you're shopping for one you just want to carry around when you're in and out, you know, shopping and going around places that you get one with a handle. Because if you don't, you're not going to like it. Um, if you're just looking for one for vacation, and this feels heavy and I don't have that much in it. If you're, if you're going on vacation and you just want one that you're going to wear and you're not going to be in and out of your car, you know, you're going to be on your feet, then this one would be perfect for that. Okay? Perfect. So... You decide which one, okay? There's a little heads up. I did want to give you that because, you know, I had already showed you the bag and stuff and hadn't carried it. I have, I've only carried it like one time, I think. <laughs> yeah. But I haven't been nowhere, you know, and I changed purses for Sunday. I try to work, carry a good purse. Now, okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, keep God in it. You'll always win it, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.